I see this all the time, a lack of groundedness, um, an ethereal essence, you know, like uh, just that really intent looking in the eyes, that s but that soft look of a lot of Om Namah Shivaya, but nothing grounded. Give me a junkie and a whore any day of the week. They're my teachers. Find me someone who has gone to the darkest parts of their own character where they were so close to the, their own self-destruction and found a way to get up and out of it. I will bow at your knee. I will bow on my knees to you because I want to know how did you do it? How did you go to that such a place of self-neglect and hate and self-rejection and heal? You're my teacher. Who better than you, the alcoholics and the whores, to help someone like me who can't get out of that? Who better? I, I get so inspired when I meet someone. I've met amazing teachers like that. I love the grittiest, darkest teachers. You give me, I love them because to me, there's no reason for them to be where they are today. There's no reason. The only thing, the only reason they got to that place is just faith, will, a belief somehow to pull themselves up out and to see that light. Oh, man, you can read about it in books and you can parrot that information, but to actually walk that walk is so inspirational to me. And, you know, there's a, a lot of the teachers I think that I'm the most attracted to are the most human are the realist, the most honest about their history and their path. 